Hello and welcome students. We are going to do question, um, a probability distribution question. Yeah? We're going to do question 11 from SPM 2006, paper 2, section B. Okay, this is a probability distribution question and you can refer to the um, compilation or to the worksheet that you have downloaded, yeah? Okay, so uh, now this question, uh, apparently um, a lot of my students make a common mistake here, yeah? And uh, you have to be able to understand the table, yeah? So let's look at it. An orchard produces lemon. Only lemons with diameter x greater than k are graded and marketed. This is very important, yeah? Underline this statement, okay? This is something that is very important. Now, table 3 shows the grades of lemon based on their diameters. Um, it is given that the diameter has a normal distribution. Now, let's look at this, uh. When you see the word, the uh, diameter of the lemons has a normal distribution. So, when you see the keyword, normal distribution, you can immediately tell that this question require you to use the z-score remember you got to convert to z-score and then this question will require you to read from the table okay the keyword is from the word normal distribution that's how you know okay now let's move on it has a normal distribution with a mean of 5.8 and a standard deviation of 1.5 okay so mean in this case okay it's uh, the symbol is mu yeah Okay, <laughs> this is called a mu. Okay, the uh, mean is 5.8. So, um, a lot of students confuse this with the statistics mean. The statistic mean is x. Okay, uh, and this is this is different here yeah, because this is probability and not statistics, right? Okay, so um, mean is 5.8 and uh, standard deviation with the same symbol is 1.5. Okay, now let's look at question one by one for A. If one lemon is picked at random, calculate the probability that it is of grade A. Okay, this is simple. Normally, the first question is always easy, you know. <laughs> so, A is easy because it's only two marks. Yeah, it's a direct question. Probability that when you pick a lemon, uh, it is of grade A and the diameter is X bigger than 7. If you refer to the question, diameter of grade A is X bigger than 7. So, X is bigger than 7. Okay, that would equal to, now you're looking for the probability, you know, so imagine this, you have an orchard and there are hundreds and thousands of lemons in it. If you randomly pick one, what is the chances that you get one that is really big, you know, the diameter bigger than 7. So that's the meaning you're looking for. Now, something to note over here, this X, right, it is actually the data. The data is in represented by diameter of the lemons. In order for you to read from the table of normal distribution, you must remember to convert to z-score the normal distribution table refers or read the z-score so you have to convert data to z-score using the formula probability z-score the you convert straight away you write z is bigger than copy so the formula is the data minus min over standard deviation okay so i'm going to write it over here yeah the formula is probability of x equals to uh, K, let's say, if you convert, that would become Z score uh, is equals to K minus mean over standard deviation. This is what uh, the formula is. Yeah, the data minus min over standard deviation. So that's what we do. Okay, now let's have a look back. So that would equal to probability. So if you count this, you will get Z score is bigger than 0.8. Okay, oh wait, um, let me write here, this is supposed to be 1.5, yeah? So 7 minus 5.8 over 1.5 is probability of z-score bigger than 0 0.8. So you should be used to this because you would have learned how to read the table. Now, this means, uh, let's just look at the table, uh, sketch out the diagram and then you can read from the table. Huh? Now, it is pretty important that if you cannot imagine this, the shading, then you sketch it out. If you can imagine this in your head, then you don't have to sketch it out, alright? So, z-score bigger than 0 0.8. So, z-score is here on the x-axis. So, this is 0 0.8. That's the, the, the z-score here. And it's bigger, so you shade towards the right because it's bigger, right? Z is bigger than 0 0.8. So, now, whatever that you read from the table would be represented by this yellow shaded region. So, just straight away go and look at the table. Um, Z-score bigger than 0 0.8, you should get 
0.2119. It's a direct reading, yeah, from the first column. Okay, so this is the probability of getting lemons with diameter bigger than 7. So now, again, put it into context. What does 0 0.2119 mean? It means that this particular orchard, um, if you go into the orchard and pick a random, pick a lemon randomly, there is a 21.19% of you getting a really big lemon with a diameter more than 7 cm, the great A ones. Okay, so it's pretty good. Yeah, okay, that's two marks. Now, uh, let's look at B. Yeah? Let's look at B. B says, in a basket of 500 lemons, okay, so now they have collected 500 lemons into a big, big basket. And now you have to estimate the number of grade B. So out of the 500, how many are grade B? So now a lot of students are stuck here, you know, they're wondering what has the 500 lemons got to do with Z-score? Try to think this is just normal mathematics, you know, normal mathematics like uh, if you have uh, 100 sweets and uh, if 20% of them are bad, okay, you have 100 sweets, if 20% of them are bad, how many are bad? It's just 20% times 100, isn't it? So basically it's the same thing. There are 500 lemons, how many are grade B? you just have to find the percentage and remember probability is actually percentage remember i told you this is 21.19 percent so therefore in order to find how many grade b lemons out of the 500 lemons you first have to find the probability of getting grade b lemons so you have to do the same thing here for grade b yeah so let's do it together okay probability of getting grade b means x if you refer to the table x is uh let's do it this way copy just copy the table x is smaller than or equals to seven because bigger than seven is grade a right so x is smaller than or equals to seven but has to be bigger than five so these are considered grade b that means anything that is between five centimeter until seven centimeters it is considered a grade b lemon for the diameter okay so same thing here, you do the same thing. This is x, remember, you have got to convert to z-score using the formula. So now let's uh, convert. So p, straight away this becomes z, right? So it's 7 minus 5.8 over 1.5. Basically, it's the same as this, okay? And copy, so this has become a z-score. The x has turned into z, so now bigger than. Now 5 minus, do the same thing, yeah? 5.8 over 1.5. Okay. Right, then you just count this, you get probability of, this is 0 0.8, the same as just now, and z-score is now, let's put it like that to make it look easier, okay, the z looks nice like that, okay, uh, this is negative 0.5333, okay. So here is where you have to have some skills in reading from the table, yeah? Before you read the table, you have to sketch this out to find the shaded region, yeah? Okay, so let's uh, sketch out over here. Okay, this is the normal curve, bell-shaped curve over here. All right, so now Z is between 0 0.8, so let's put, okay, 0 0.8 is over here. Uh, this is 0 0.8. And then this is negative, just put anywhere at the negative part, yeah? Negative 0.533. All right, and Z is in between it. Therefore, this is the shaded region, isn't it? Where your Z score should be. Okay, so now do remember this. If you read the table 0 0.8, what do you get? When you read from the table 0 0.8, you get this part the region that is towards the outside yeah every time you read from the table the area or uh, the probability that is given represents the area that is towards this side and towards this side so if you read 0 0.8 you get 0 0.2119 uh, which is what we did just now and if you read 0.533 and if you look at the table there's no negative yeah the negative just tells you where the position of the point is or where you're supposed to shade there is no negative in the table so you read 0.533 from the table okay and you will get 0.2969 and that refers to this portion okay whatever you read from the table refers to this portion that is towards the outside of the curve yeah never to the inside so how are you going to find the blue color one 
to find the blue color one remember the entire thing has a probability of one probability maximum is one so the entire shaded region under the curve is one so to find the blue one is just one minus this and minus this so you can actually uh, so the, the the actual way of writing is this uh, probability of this is one minus what is the probability of this one is when z is less than negative 0.533 less than all okay and uh, minus z is oops that's and minus z is oh there's a probability here and a probability here and z is bigger than 0.8 Alright, so that is what you're doing. You're going to minus this. Now, if this is confusing for you, if you because of the reversing and all that, what you can do is you can just straight away skip this step and write the answer. 1 minus 0 0.2969 minus 0.2119. Okay, and that will give you your final answer, 0 0.4912. Okay, so now, this is the probability of getting grade B lemon. Huh? Remember what you're looking for? The probability of getting grade B, which is 49.12%. And it makes sense, you know, in an orchard, you will have only about 20% of good ones, the really big ones, grade A. And most of the lemons would be grade B, yeah, about 0.4912 and 49.12%. Uh, and probably a few, no, 21% of really lousy ones, okay? So, how many uh, grade B lemons out of the 500? So, you just do 500. So you can just take 0.4912 times with 500. So you get approximately 245. Please round this up, yeah? Because um, it, it's not... You know, it's funny to put 245, 45.5 uh, uh, lemon. Uh, no, half a lemon, you know? <laughs> so that is uh, sounds a bit weird. So what you do is you just round it up. Okay, let's see what you get, actually. Yeah, it's 245. Uh, 6 so you can say it's 245 and uh, don't don't make it to 246 why because you only have 245.6 so you don't have enough of 246 so round it up to the lower 245 uh, grade b lemon okay and that's it so now we're going to do question c in the following video because then uh, the video will be a bit too big yeah so i'll see you in the following video for question c and probably i'll start another question for um another year spm year okay i'll see you then